Hello everyone, this is 3-1 Pockets and I'd like to welcome everyone to episode number 3 of my Dell Dimensions 5150 CPU and memory update video. So, as always, let's get started. Now here's our 3.8 gigahertz um, new CPU. This is the SL7Z3 and this is the um, the plug for the um, LGA 775 um, socket. As we can see on both sides it has two notches and now these two notches are going to fit in the two notches in the motherboard um, chamber that holds down the CPU. So our next step is to locate where the little clips are. I'm going to zoom in on it see if you can see them. You should be able to see them. They're on each side of the board here. Now I'm going to take our, I'll back out, out of zoom a little bit. We're going to take our CPU that has the two notches. We also have like two little gold pegs that are kind of big, these little arrows that point to that, pretty much to this area of the, uh, the plug where this drops down into. Now once we have it set in and secure, we're going to take a little bit of thermal paste and smear it on there so it matches up to our heat sink which is right here. This is the side but I'll expose the bottom here shortly so you guys can see how we do that next. And I'm going to fold down the keeper on this lock. So you guys can see this. I've got to take my finger and put it on this little handle and I've got to press it down, pull out a little bit slightly and then snap it in and that's what makes it so it's locked into place. So let's see if I can zoom in so you guys can see it. Now there we have our new CPU installed. Now our next step is going to be to take a little bit of thermal paste that we have right here and we're going to put it on the back side of our CPU. We've got the corner of the bag cut off and we can see a little bit it's coming out. So we'll put some of that on our CPU. Not too much, just a little bit. Once we have that on there I always want to have a roll of paper towels laying around for this job. Once we get that on there, let me zoom in on it. Let's take our finger and we're going to smear it around on there a little bit. Then take the paper towels and wipe our fingers. Now after installing our thermal paste we're going to take our memory and we're going to install the memory back into the slots. Now we have our um, 4 1 gigs of memory and we're going to install and we have this notch and we want to make sure we line it up with a notch that's down in the, um, the track that it sits down into. Let me zoom in on it a little bit so you can see there's the notch is right there off to the and it's always generally staggered off to one side so we, they only can fit one direction. So anyways we want to be careful installing these. We're going to slip them down into the the little grooves. Once we get it lined up then we're going to We can just gently push down. Many times they just snap into place like that one just did. And we'll go to the other side. And the same thing. We just push down. And then you can see that snap in. 
And the same thing with the next one. Just want to make sure we do this real carefully. We've got the the heat sink pulled back right now, so it gives us gives us a little bit more access to get our hands in here to, to do this. I'll zoom in on that one. That takes care of those two. Now that our memory's in, our next step is to reinstall and set our heat sink um, shroud back down on the uh, hinges and flip it forward. And now we're going to tighten and start to fasten each side these um, two screws. Now that we have our screws set, we're just going to tighten them in until they hit the bottom. They're on like a little spring latch that helps keep the, the screws in place so when we flip this back they don't fall down in the circuit board and cause a problem. I'll go to the other side. Okay, that just about takes care of our memory and our uh, our new CPU installation. Now we're going to put the cover back on and take it and put it back up on our desk and give it a try. We have to set it in these little pegs that are at the bottom. Let's see, I can, I'll zoom in on it so you can see it or show them to you. Anyways, they go into these little tabs that are right here on the bottom of the case and we're gonna slide those in first once they're lined up and set we can pretty much just push down on our case and it'll pretty much snap in Okay, that just about does it for that. Now we're going to put it up on the desk and give it a try. Now that we have our new 3.8 gigahertz CPU in, our Dell Dimensions 5150, we're going to turn it on and give it a try. Let's go over to the screen see what happens. Now we changed the memory so we have to click F1. Now once we've turned it on and activated it, you, the mouse, um, the cursor moves like lightning. It's, it's pretty amazing how it works. Um, I'm going to go and press our auto focus on our, our monitor after the change. There, that brought it um, to a clear, that clears it up. Uh, this, this is an HP. Um, 24 inch um, monitor that, that I use. I have a couple of them. My eyesight started to go bad so I started to use these bigger screens so I can see a little bit better. Well we're just about out of time again for our episode number three of the Dell Dimensions 5150 CPU and memory update video. So till next time this is 3-1 Pockets and thanks for watching.